Alright guys, this is my uh, new house that I just bought. That was uh, $203,000 located in uh, sunny Sacramento, California. And I had no idea what I was doing in the buying process, but I did as much research as I could. I'm uh, 23 years young, so I had no idea what I was doing. But I got it now. I have about, uh, I'm going to have anywhere from four to six roommates. Uh, to total people in the house, including me. Um, yeah, so this is going to be where my future home theater is, and there's probably going to be a person sleeping in this area as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's my receiver down there, and I, I just bought that. It's a uh, power conditioner. I don't know if it actually makes a difference, but I, I'm reading it might help. I don't see how it's that much better than a regular in the wall, but yeah. I have my speakers and sub are in there. It's somebody's crappy TV. That's not my TV. My vest and out. Yeah. So I have to build um, something for this because it's a cubby hole made for CRTs in the 90s. This house was built in the late 90s. So uh, I have to build something that's anchored but has studs that come forward that can be um, hooked onto by a regular vest and out. Just buy ones that doesn't have an, an arm. That's what I want to do. Um, yeah, this is none of this furniture is mine. It's just all a bunch of other people's stuff. It's my uh, kind of crappy kitchen, but I just got this fridge. Spent uh, in total, it cost me about a, uh, a little under thirteen hundred, maybe thirteen hundred ish with tax and everything. Got it from Best Buy with a coupon, three hundred off French door Samsung fridges. Um. Yeah, and then plus it's going to have a $75 rebate because it's highly energy efficient. It is super cold in there, even when I didn't even turn it up that much. Very efficient. And you get the freezer down here. Yeah, I don't know. Well, my uh, future wife, my fiance, said, you know, wanted a French door, so I just went with it. I didn't realize, though, that it is way too big for this house. But, I mean, I'm probably going to sell this within five ten years or at least rent it out and get a new place anyway bought these two washer dryers went all out as well found these on slick deals uh, from Lowe's normally 800 I pay about 550 for them each um, just combining movers coupons and buying gift cards to pay for them like you can buy gift cards online at discounted rates and I also um, the washer is going to have two rebates, one for $50 from the gas company and one for $200 from the water company. So this washer cost is going to end up costing me about $300 in total after the rebates. And this one, the dryer, there's no rebates on it, but it's going to cost me about $550. So yeah, these are Whirlpool front loading washer, matching dryer. I gotta get all the cables for it too, because I didn't pay for that from them because they over they jacked that price up. So I got those all shipping from Amazon. It's a crappy garage, two car. I'm gonna have a lot of projects in this house, and you probably watch my channel because of all my network videos and. I will be wiring this house and doing a lot to it, especially like the home theater area and this closet right here. Um, that's what I got right now. I got a single power cable, a coax going in. I cannot get Fios in this area. I'm a little too far out of town, I think, so I had to go with Comcast. So I ended up getting this from Staples for about $60, um, just using... 25 off 75 online coupons that you can buy off eBay for a couple dollars or you can get a hold of them sometimes um, This is a zoom 5431j um, best um, Best Modem you can get for Comcast. It's a channel uh, um, a channel down four channel up And I think it's the most stable compared to like surfboard uh, Motorola's brand and the other ones It's just some UPS I had in the past. This is PF Sets Firewall. I actually put a new uh, boot, well I have a boot drive in there which is a small, really small SSD. 
It's like a 30 gig and it's the size of like a PCI card. But it has SATAs on the end, so it's, it's interesting, and I tested it. It has trim and everything. You can enable trim in PFSense 2.1. It's not like in the GUI or anything. You have to do a little bit of manual hacking. Like you need to do a couple commands and then reboot, and then you can have trim enabled. So basically, you need to make it so that your uh, partitions no longer use um, whatever the partition numbers are, but in like the dev devices, because those are going to change once you change your dra driver to... to um, AHCI, which you need for trim. So first you run some script that they PFSense guys put in there, which changes it from the the devices, from the fstab file using the devices to instead using the um, UFS um, partition ID numbers, which are more universal because no matter what the uh, what's going on, like you can move the hard drive to different supports and then it'll still have the same UF, I, UFS ID number. So you run that one script, and then you you say enable HCI in the PFSense somewhere in there. Oh, you you enable the um, the driver, the .co file. So you have to put that in a in a file, and then uh, you also run a command command to um, have trim enabled. So then you reboot, and everything should be working just as it was. But now you have trim enabled, and you have HCI, which is better than. Uh, 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 what's the other one? IDE. Yeah, some cable that I'm gonna run the house with. Bought this from Mono Price. It is a. What I'm gonna basically do is have shelves here. I don't know how the heat's gonna dissipate. That's something I might have to put a vent in here. I'm gonna have shelves here, and I'm gonna have like a piece of plywood, so I don't even have to cut into the wall. I only have to cut a single hole in the wall, a uh, single two gang hole in the bottom with power, and just like a pass through with all the cables coming up to the different levels of plywood which are just going to be slightly raised above the wall and in there I'm going to cut the different things so I'm going to cut a patch panel right here into that so I'm not even touching this wall it's just going to be a single two gang hole in the bottom I might have to cut a vent near the top yeah I got this the uh, AC 66U uh, this is the um, highest grade commercial router you can get in the market it's running DWRT right now um, has AC and everything, and I have Galaxy S4, so I can actually utilize it. I think the new Haswell chips, uh, Haswell laptops, will will get these. So if I eventually get a like um, an Ultra Book, but I probably don't even need it, honestly. Some crappy uh, KVM that I got from uh, eBay it cost me about like eight dollars, probably. But I'm gonna connect this to my three servers, so I can just switch between them, and I'll have this crappy monitor which I found. This is going to be my server closet, that'll be interesting right now, you can tell it is a mess, but everything, it's going to be no wires, invisible at a certain point. This is the room that I might be most likely taking, I set up my desk, as you can see, I probably showed this before, it's just, just an i5, no video card, running dual screens, one's on DVI, one's on a DVI to HDMI converter, which does, is not an actual conversion, it's, they're the same, um, they're the same electronics, but, um, Basically, the monitor only accepts HDMI, and this thing has, I mean, DVI, but this thing has HDMI, so, yeah. The uh, headphones, I got some new pads for these. I got these off eBay. They're normally $25. I paid $17 for one, and then seven, and then $18 for another. I paid $35 and got two from some guy on eBay who sells them. So, you, um, he has a, like, a make, a make a deal kind of thing on his eBay listing so you can just say oh, I'm only going to pay this much to ship it so you might get lucky but yeah ended up getting the mono price mic too just to because uh, it's only four dollars and it just came in stock last week so it's kind of nice it has on off switch and it's aimed directly at you so um, I've tested the quality yesterday it sounded pretty good but uh, I want to do that more I want to eventually get better speak so there's three more upgrades I'm going to do this I'm going to get better speakers not even that much better um, and then I'm going to get better monitors so I'm going to get the U2412 Dell IPS 24 inch monitors and the resolution is um, 1200, I mean it's uh, 1920 by 1200. So these aren't even 1080, these are only up 10, 1050p and this is 16 by 10. And those are also 16 by 10 but they're 24 inch so they're going to be slightly larger which means with this vest amount they'll sit back more and they're IPS so the color accuracy is going to be extremely good. Um, yeah. I got this guy for free. <laughs> Crappy webcam that I barely use. 
And here is uh, just all my wires and stuff. Here's my closet. There's my TV that I bought at Costco Black Friday last year. Panasonic Viera. Panasonic makes the best plasmas right now. I think consumer, like ones that you're not going to spend over a thousand to, or not over two thousand dollars for. Start getting the high end stuff, but you know, for just the consumer grade stuff, I paid five hundred ish for this in total with a up um, extending the warranty to five years and tax and everything. It cost me six hundred dollars. So this was a steal for a fifty inch, no extra features, no smart TV, no nothing, because I'm going to hook it up to a home theater. So no 3D. So I got the bare bones, but you know the high quality Viera TV. Uh, in my work clothes. Uh, yeah, so right now my cousin's in here. He's got his desktop in there. Sleeping. It's the morning. And then we got some guys that are just seem to be like hoarders. They have a lot of stuff. But yeah, I might potentially actually be in this room and we might be tripling it. <laughs> so I'm going to be making a lot of money from this, from owning the house and renting it out to guys. So uh, that's me. That toilet is clogged, so I gotta figure something. There's a lot of work to do in this house. Oh man, but yeah, I mean, in the end, I think it'll be worth it to buy a house. I think I hit the mark at the right time. I hit it a little bit after the interest interest rates started to rise, but I didn't get too terrible of a rate, and um, I didn't really have an option to do it earlier because I didn't have the down payment saved up at that point. But it's done. It's all done now. Yard. There's a plum tree back there that has pretty good plums, um, but it's also I think contributing to the rat problem that's in the attic. So I need to go up there and get rid of the rats before I wire the place. I believe there's some type of opening somewhere that they're getting into the house with, and they're eating the plums, which attic rats attic rats eat eat fruit, and they live in attics at night. So I'm I'm assuming those are them. Attic rats are not dangerous. They're not the ones that carry rhombovirus, but it's still, I think they still, the bacteria in their crap could still get you sick, their crap and their piss. So cleaning the roof is going to be a ton of work. Yeah, so that's uh, my house that I just bought. Um, hope you guys like this video. I might be making a bunch of these, you know, as I'm doing stuff. Hopefully that closet will be completely done within like two months and then this will be all done like within two months probably sooner but you know i want to give myself some time so hope you join this video and i'll see you guys later